hi and welcome to Sadie Spooncraft. In this video, we are, I am going to um what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do some. I'm definitely gonna do some. I'm gonna be doing steaming of fibre. Um I'm gonna weigh the fibre out into four lots of 40 grams. At some point in the video, you will hear me say five lots. It's not because I didn't have enough fibre, but I'll figure that out as I'm weighing it out and I'll go over that. We are going to be spinning a four ply. I'm hoping it's going to be chunky. We shall see once it's been steamed. Um, so yeah, let's get down to it and I'll see y'all at the end. So this is my steamer and this is how the fibre looks. And we're going to turn it from that to that. So I'm just going to show you. Turn the steamer on. I'm going to put it in front. So move down to the next bit. You will need to let it dry before using it because it does get a bit damp. Obviously you're putting steam, which is water, into it. But it should only take a few minutes. I'm going to try and make it so that you can see what I'm doing a bit more up close so I just hope I can do this while you're in front so you can see the difference between that you've just seen me do that bit so let's see if I can I want it so that you can actually see the fibres changing so might be able to do that. So I'll turn that back on. I want you to be able to actually see them filling up. If I do it here. Sorry about that steam. <laughs> Look, you see it opening there and getting oh, steam again. Right. I want you to actually see the magic. And it's not actually showing up. I am going to have to get some more water because it's only a small steamer. There you can see it opening on that one. That is so cool. I love it when it does that. You can actually see it doing its magic. Right, so... Right now I'm out of water, by the looks of it. I should have filled it before starting. You know, you should, what normal sensible people do. But I will show you. Oh, turn that off. Move <laughs> out of the way. All the steam. 
so that's what we've just done together that nice fluffy bit and that's what it looked like before all compact and yeah not as pretty as what it is when it's fluffed up and steamed so I'm going to go off camera get this finished and then when I come back on camera we're going to split it into five lots of 40 grams and we are going to do start spinning a five ply because I want a chunky yarn and this is how I'm going to do it um I could do it another way where I spin thicker but I want to try out some five ply and four ply yarns so what best way to do that than wanting chunky so yeah I'll be back shortly so now it's all dried off I'm going to put it into 40 grams Seg segment for each one for the for each bobbin and that's 40 grams so that's one bobbin Just over No, I'm not going to split those over a couple That's the second one <laughs> Will you just stay there, please? We've got that little bit left over, so we've got there's 40 grams four times, so it is going to be a four ply, not a five ply. I thought I had more than that. Obviously, I didn't weigh it, ha! But that's me all over. So now we've got four lots of 40 gram, and we're going to spin each lot onto a bobbin via the nano I will film little bits of each bobbin and then we shall ply it all together over on lamps which is the Ashford Kiwi 2 so I'll be back shortly with this all set up so this is how I'm gonna 
set up my nano so I'll show you how I'm doing that and then most of the filming will be done in high speed so more than likely be very quiet because I need to find some music that is non-copyright that is good for everybody not just myself so I may not have found that by that point but <coughs> excuse me well so put that hang fire sneeze fit over right so I've put the brake band over and the drive band on so now I just need to thread my hooks and the orifice and away we go so I'm gonna move that down there tighten it up a bit Move that tiny hook. There we go. I haven't got a very long leader just because, well, it's a tiny bobbin. I do need to turn that down slightly until we know what we're doing, and I will be spinning clockwise which is Z so I'll be going Z twist so clockwise yeah if that makes sense so I always spin clockwise and ply and clockwise I don't know why but I do even on um, drop spindles so yeah, now to start the quick motion.
So, I've got all four here. You saw me setting them up. I did put a kind of brake band on the bobbins just to try and keep them coming at the same time. Um, I'm going to try and put each one of these through their own finger if I can. Should be able to. There we go. And I'm going to go and clockwise, which is S twist, I do believe. S, yeah. And so, and just so you know, I've not done this before. I think I maybe have done it once. Um, applying a four ply. I just, I need to uh, that feels better put it in that one rather than the other one but even that feels weird look at all that come on you pull you down pull you through come up down to that bit Technically, you should be all nice. Now I've got where I want you. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's turning out. It reminds me of ice cream. Two, three, four. There we go. That's smoother. Each one's got its own, not coming off too quick. Just took me a bit to get going. I'm not sure I'm going to fit the whole hundred and odd, but we do need to go ever so slightly quicker. Get that twist in there. Beautiful. Definitely reminds me of mint chocolate chip ice cream. But we'll see <laughs> when it's all done. that again <laughs> and once this is washed it's going to be a beautiful chunky yarn because it will fluff up beautifully with it being um, rambulay I won't show the washing of the yarn You'll see it hung on the board once it's been washed and dried. I might get one of those light up boards that you can change a thing on. Just I've said it's spin craft written on it all the time. And then if we say, I don't know, spinning a single, right singles on it, if we're plying, right plying on it. Playing with fibre, just right playtime, that kind of thing.
have to move again. This is going to be one full bobbin. I think we may get this four, four ply and then I do believe one of them will run out before the rest and then we'll end up with a three ply and then probably a two ply but we'll see I might surprise myself I may have spun them all the same but I doubt it very much I might even end up with two four plies. Oh, that went a bit funny. What's my finger in? Oh wow. Went that across. It is amazing how quick a bobbin fills up when you put four singles on. I wonder if I can fit all oh, this 160 grams on. I might not be able to, you know, looking at it. But we'll see, we'll try. And how to make really, 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 really full bobbins. <laughs> if I sound funny, it's because I am full of cold. I've got a bad cough and a sniffly nose. And I look like rubbish, but we get through it, we work on it. I just keep plodding. I really want you to see. Let's see if I can do it. Right. I just want you to get a bit of a close up of these colours because I think they're absolutely stunning. Sorry, I've just I lost my fingers and now I need to just put that back over there. <laughs> I was just sorting my hands out. Getting my arm back into place. So yeah, I'm gonna come back shortly when this is all applied and show you the finished result. See you soon.
So I'm going to steam this now. It is a little curly whirly. That's what I needed. So I'm just going to turn that on. And we're going to get this beautiful yarn. All steamed. It's quite chunky. Right now I'd say it's about an iron weight. Um, but yeah, let's see how much it fluffs up. Let's see how much it fluffs up once I get steamed. Get steamed. Once I start steaming. You know what I'm on about. You know a words elude Sadie quite often. God heaven forbid I should speak England properly. <laughs> right. We're starting to steam, bubble rather. So I just hope I don't burn my hands doing it like this. I probably will, but it's alright. So. I do love the magic of steam. And it bugs me that you can't see it on camera, what I'm seeing. Gonna have to turn that slightly. Do you know what? I'll go that way just because then that bit can cool down. Move it again. Let's see if you can see all that disappear. Can you see it all moving? If you can see it, I'm hoping you can. <laughs> I do love the magic of steam, it's amazing stuff. So I'll do a round like this, and then I will flip it inside out to get the inside of the skin. Grab it, flip it inside out so I can get this side. I'm running out of water. That all's good. Won't take as much on this side. Would have been alright if the cat didn't decide to start drinking out of the jug that I brought up to fill it. Because she's a dozy duck. Right, we're out of water. Cat Bod finished it. Finishing it. But it's knitted. It's as good as done. Now I need to flip it back the right way because otherwise it's all saggy on the inside when it's meant to be. 
nice so I'm gonna well but you can see how much bigger it's got <laughs> so I'd say it was a chunky yarn so yeah I'm gonna just wrap this up and I'll be back so I hope you all enjoyed that video here's the and yeah end result i don't know if uh, can we hide my face enough to get a good picture i'm not sure i will take a picture and insert it somewhere around here um if i can so i'll try again pretty pretty yarn <laughs> Come on, focus for me. There we go. So, yeah. Come on, focus. You know, you want to... <laughs> well, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. There's the four-ply. <coughs> There's the two-ply with what was left. And... That is the tiny bit that was left after the two ply. So you do get more than just the one yarn when you're going for a true four ply or a true three ply. Um, simply because I've only ever done it once where my bobbins finish at the same time. And that was just a pure ecstatic moment for me i've not done it since and i don't think i'll ever do it again um so i don't expect to spin perfect at any point i don't spin to be perfect to be fair i spin because i love to spin and i've got a default of uh, skinny spinning skinny spinning <laughs> uh let's wait <laughs> Excuse me, a lace weight single, um, and I usually just chain play it. So yeah, that's from the little project we've just done. We've got us two ply, we've got us four ply. I'd say it was chunky for me on a scale of one to ten. I'd say it was more an iron weight to a chunky weight but I'd say well yeah I'd say we're more of a, a chunky a, an iron weight than a chunky so even though the um, title will say four ply chunky yarn I do believe it is a four ply four ply four ply iron weight yarn but anyway all I have to do is add another one and I've got a chunky. So for my default, I need five ply to make a chunky, four ply for an Aran, three ply for Worsted or DK. Get in? Woohoo! So at least I figured that out about myself. So now I'm going to love you and leave you. Next video, I don't have a clue what will be um, because that just took... It took two weeks to film and get it up. Um, I am still filming the uh, mini scrap sweater jumper. I'm on the sleeve. I'm still on the sleeve. I haven't finished a sleeve. I'm still on the sleeve. So I'm on this sleeve. I've got this sleeve and the neck hole to do still. So that's taking some time because I had to take some time to do this video. So yeah, it's uh that's that's just how it's gone. <laughs> um I'm hoping to get a dive video up this next week because fingers crossed I kinda know what I want to do so long as my jar fits in my microwave I can it means I can heat. Anyway, I'm not going to let all my little secrets go because I want to tell you in the next video. So, yeah, I shall see you all again soon. 
love and hugs to all you fantastic people out there and don't forget just do what you love doing so long as it's on the legal side Mwah. love you bye